What's up guys, Outlaw Garage here again. Um, on this video I'm gonna show you guys how to read your OBD1 to get your check engine light codes. So what you wanna do is, uh, you can either get the GM key from AutoZone, if they still have them. Or they ha it's a reader out there too, possibly, but if you just wanna check it and you're already home, just take some wire. Or, uh, uh clothespin. Not a clothespin, a um, paper clip. Stick one at each side, get up here, turn your key in on position and your check engine light should flash the code to you. See, it's 12, that's talking about, um, I got the codes right here. See, it's, it's, it's just popping up the code up. 12, this is the website right here, GM Tuners dot com slash obd1 underscore dtc dot htm 12 is no descriptor post and it's just saying that's because the diagnostic test is active so let me turn it off turn it on you will see it do that 12 it'll blink at the colors that's one that's two that's three Three, one, two, three, four. So that's 34. I can't pause this, so I just go over here. 34 is basically saying uh, map sensors error, low indicating or high vacuum. I got the codes wrote down already. My codes wrote down codes written down already. Um, it's 13. Because it's right now is open headers. The other one was 16, I think. 16 or 15. I think it was 15. Nah, they got another cooling temp sensor. So the original one is not hooked up in the place where it's supposed to be. Uh, I think, yeah, and it's just read 34. And I think it was 36 also. And the last one I seen was 32 knock sensor. And I think that's what cut the truck off when I'm just sitting there. Let's start it up. Let's see if it stays crunk. Oh. And it normally starts. Well, I'll figure that out later. But uh, I was just starting this video to show you guys. Oh, that's probably because that's in there. Let's try it now. I had to pull the cord out. Let's see. Nope. But I'll figure this crap out, that crap out later, but I'll just bring this video to show you guys how to read OBD1. And uh, I'm going to get into my engine and see what's going on, why it's not starting now. You guys take care.